It's an upstate man is in jail tonight, charged with murder after a body was found in the trunk of a car over the weekend. Spartanburg County deputies say the victim was beaten and bound. 7 News' Nikkel Smith explains how this all involves a car chase and home invasion. Nikkel. Yeah, Tom and Amy, the sheriff's office says this case unfolded all weekend long, and now they have a murder suspect in custody. The 8400 block of Paris Bridge Road in Chesney is where Spartanburg County deputies made a shocking discovery in the trunk of a car this weekend. The body of Jamie Lee Miller. Deputies say he was beaten and bound. Now Stephen Clayton Scruggs is charged with murder. We had two family members of Scruggs report that two vehicles were stolen. Deputies say that was Friday and relatives thought Scruggs was responsible for stealing the vehicles. The next day, deputies found one of the stolen vehicles with Miller's body in the trunk and Scruggs became a suspect along with Tabitha Cook. Sunday morning, a trooper saw both suspects in the second stolen car at Highway 11 and Long Branch Road. Troopers say Scruggs was driving and took off, later wrecking after a chase. Deputies say Cook stayed put in the car while Scruggs ran off, trying to steal another car and broke into a nearby home. He kicked the door in at one house where there were two teenage boys at home. He assaulted one of those. Um, he was looking for car keys, looking for a vehicle. Deputies caught up to Scruggs, charging him with murder, and they say they found meth in his pocket. Nobody had to go to the hospital, nobody, you know, which was a blessing because it could have gotten real ugly real quick. And Scruggs faces a number of charges, including some from the Highway Patrol as well, and Cook is charged with accessory after the fact, Tom. Well, Nikkel, as we covered the story over the weekend, we spoke with the Spartanburg County Sheriff, and he mentioned that a naked woman had been found somewhere in the vicinity, and that right. figures into the case in some way, too. What do we know about that? Right, so we asked that question of the Sheriff's Office, Tom, and they said that right now that's being treated as an unrelated investigation at this time. Mm -hmm. They also said they checked out that bomb situation, that there was a bomb in one of the houses, yeah. and bomb squad was called out, and nothing was found in that case either. This case has a lot of different chapters to yes. it, mm -hmm. trying to piece it all together. Mm -hmm. Nikhil, thank you.